So, uh, I haven't really put out a video in a little bit because I've been kind of going through the motions, really. I've been, uh, been drinking a little bit. Uh, not too heavily, just to get over some things because last year was really, really intense and I don't want to have to relive, you know, relive it this year. So, we're going to get rid of that notification. Uh, with that being said, I have got quite a bit of movies to review. I know that I've kind of been a little behind because the last film I think I reviewed was Moonlight. I I think. Yeah. Um, I've been getting into more uh, film directors, most notably Scott Cooper, because I finally found his debut, Crazy Heart. Uh, I have some thoughts on it as to why I didn't necessarily like the first half the second half I found a little better. The ending was alright. It was fine. It wasn't the best thing ever. Which is kind of what I was expecting, but that's what happens when you set your expectations too high. Out of the Furnace, obviously. Great movie. I own Black Mass. I'm not sure if I have that movie already. I don't think I do. But I have that and I also have Blow. I like Johnny Depp, so why not? Uh, I don't have Hostels. Obviously, Antlers isn't out. I'm gonna look for some of Eliza Hittman's films because she's only made three. Okay, look, I like independent filmmakers a lot more because they bring a lot more to the table. Uh, Rose Glass, Saint Maud, I watched it. I had some mixed feelings about it, but I'm not here to talk about just film, all right? I'm here to talk about me. I have been cheating on my diet a lot. I think, like, the last time that I went for a walk was, like, two weeks ago or something. Maybe. So, you know, there's that. Uh, been swiping on Tinder. I, uh, kind of spiraled, honestly. Um, I have, like, drastically abused my sleep schedule. I've been playing Smash Ultimate on Yuzu. It runs perfectly fine. Steve is probably my main right now, so just anyone that really cares. That's, I mean, that's basically it. I just finished watching uh, The Social Network for the third or fourth time. Not in a row, obviously, but I've just, I like it. It's a, it's a, it's a good movie. Um, if you haven't seen The Art of, the, if you haven't seen The Art of Self-Defense, I would highly recommend that because that movie, I've seen it once, and Imogen Poots is, um, it's, it's really hard for me to say that I really like her in anything, because she's been in mainly uh, independent films. I don't know, like, I guess the, the biggest film that I know her from is from Green Room, from Jeremy Sonye. I have yet to see Hold the Dark, After the Dark, whatever that film is called, with like the snow and the wolves and the moose, antlers, I, I don't know. I've really just been putting off watching that movie. Um, my candle burned out. Now I gotta use my second one, which is right here. I bought it in case, you know, I like get anyone from Tinder over here because this apartment complex smells awful. And this is a pa vanilla passion fruit and Hawaiian breeze. It looks pretty nice. It smells pretty nice. And it hasn't worked out well so far. I went to a bar with my friend, and um, we went to the. Well, we caught some of the Super Bowl halftime show. I enjoyed it, except I didn't because Abel was performing a lot of mainstream songs. But that's not the issue. The issue was there was a man that wouldn't shut the hell up. He was shouting and screaming and chanting and hoorahing. Hoor the commercials they played weren't very good. The only one that I really liked was the Wayne's World with, uh, God forbid, Cardi B. I don't like Cardi B at all. I know what she's done. Um, I guess those were allegations, but I don't like her music. You can say whatever you want. I'm very biased. Look, look. I got this album, finally. It literally came out almost a year ago, and I finally have it. It's not deluxe. But I made it deluxe, if that makes any sense. Alright? Um, 
I... Let me think, what else has been happening? There's a good little bar that's right across the street, and for the past four years, I've never gone in. I went in once to apply to be a food runner. They did not get back to me, so I go there just for stuff. Um, mimosas were like three bucks, which is awesome, but now that the Super Bowl's ended, you know, they're probably like $15 or whatever, so... Uh, yeah, that's basically it.